Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go in a bit of a different direction. Today, we're going to travel back in time, back all the way to the year 2000. Join me in taking a look at the Palm 7X. The year is 2000. Artists like Eminem and the Backstreet Boys are all topping the charts. If you were around back then, you were probably carrying a cell phone that looked something like this. We had all just survived Y2K. The most sought after console of the year was the PlayStation 2, and we were still a year away from the PowerBook G4. If you were a certified tech nerd back in the day like I was, and you wanted something portable to check email, weather, update your calendar, and keep track of things like shopping lists, then you probably carried something like the Palm 7X. I was lucky enough to find this on eBay, still wrapped in the original plastic, so I thought I would unbox it and share the experience with you. Let's take a look and see what's inside this 22-year-old time capsule. So here's the tools we're going to need for today. A knife and some AAA batteries because I can almost guarantee you the ones that are in here are dead. Let's see. So we want to do this. Go for it. Take all of this off because it's probably never going to get sold again. Check that out. We've got our Palm Read This First Guide, which is huge and looks like it comes with a lot of information. Ooh, nice leather pouch. Our sink dock, which has a DB, which has a DB9 connector. I'll have to adapt that. Look at this. To activate the palm.net service for your Palm 7 handheld, follow the instructions. There was an option to pay $14.99 a month to have internet anywhere with this device. Can't believe this is brand new. This is a brand new device, it looks like. I'm going to take a guess and say that those batteries are probably shot since I can see corrosion. Finally, we have a DB9 to what looks like a DB25 adapter, which obviously I won't be using. We will have to stick the batteries in here and see what happens. All right, so I've got two AAAs. Because remember, kids, back in the day, not everything charged up via USB cable. As a matter of fact, not much did. Alright. Our handy dandy stylus, which from what I can remember you have to use. You've got infrared up here so that you can send things to a computer that's got infrared or another device. There's a dark cable there. Volume control for the one little speaker that's on here. And my favorite part, the Wi-Fi antenna. Double check, make sure I've got the batteries incorrect. There we go. Turns out I had the batteries in backwards the whole time. So, first thing you do on a Palm device is you have to set up the screen so that it knows where you're tapping based off of your input. United States, let's change this. And that's right, kids, it is New Year's Eve. 
based off of my time zone. Instructions about web clippings. And that's it. That's all the setup there is to it. We have battery indicator here. ABC News, which all of this stuff will either work or not once I get it connected to Wi-Fi. You've got Barnes & Noble, Ask Jeeves, if anybody remembers that. A version of Amazon Shopping, which I'm going to check out in a little bit. We've got games, main, system, utilities. Let's go to system. There's hot sync, preferences. Beam and receive on. Game sounds high, alarm sounds high. What happens if we flip this out? Oh, look at that. Oh, we're going to cancel that for right now because it wants money and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be able to do that. But it looks like you could have at one time signed up for AT&T WorldNet, CompuServe, EarthLink, Netcom, PSINet, Unix, UUNet, and Windows RAS. So once I can figure out how to get it connected to the internet, we can go from there. The next step is to find out if I have an adapter that will take my 9-pin and connect it to USB. So back in just a little bit. Okay, so while I was looking for the serial to USB connector, I also came across this awesome website, palmdb.net. Right now, I'm on the website, and as you can see, I'm going to download the Palm Windows desktop. So I'm going to download that. And I'm not even sure it's going to install because this stuff was designed for like Windows 95 and maybe Windows XP. Um, but it looks like it might be syncing or setting up. Let's just hope that it's the right version to work with this device. And I'm just going through the completely standard setup because I really just don't know. Um, I've also got my Palm device here in its cradle. And I've got a camera aimed at that, which you'll eventually see here. Do you want to create a desktop shortcut? Of course we do. Give your device a username. Reviews for nerds. How about that? We've got our device on. Now, there's a button down here that it wants me to press. So we're going to pause here and try to figure out why it's not connecting. Okay, so I think I figured out what was going on before. So now we're going to download these drivers here. 
the Windows 64 drivers to see if that will help. All right, so I figured it out, or at least I followed the instructions that were on the, the Palm website that I pointed out earlier. Um, so what we've got here is we've got a USB bridge, which is what I've what I'm working with, and we're going to. I've downloaded the drivers for the Palm device, and I've downloaded the drivers for the USB to serial connector. So let's see what happens. Nothing's happening. It should be working by now. All right, so I figured it out. So down here in our settings, under connections, I had to make sure that serial was installed or was clicked and not USB because it's a serial adapter. So now that that's done, we can select an existing account and we've got it syncing. This isn't really cool. So. I'm syncing nothing with what's in here. What I can do from here is I can create addresses, to-do list, memos, add media, and install files. So I'm going to actually go through Palm's website, or this Palm repository here, and see what software I can find and install it. So I've been playing with the Palm 7X last night and some this morning, and I've managed to get a couple things done. I've managed to install a couple of apps, an e-reader, which I'll be pulling some books down from my library and converting to a format that will fit this device. And I've installed a couple of games, most notably a working version of Tetris. So in the year 2022, the Palm 7X could still be used as a personal digital assistant with some caveats most notably of which is the palm.net service, which is no longer active. Unlike most modern devices that people use for organization, this doesn't have Wi-Fi capabilities. So you're relying 100% on syncing this device via the syncing cable. So if you're looking to just break away from having a full-fledged smartphone and wanting something that's a little more simple and can give you the ability to take notes and make calendar events, which then can sync up with Outlook, then this could be a working device for you. For me, it's going to be a fun little toy to play with, and I'm going to have some more videos coming up soon on this device. I thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please feel free to share this video with your friends. I'm Bryant, and this is Reviews for Nerds. Have a great day.